Hi guys, and welcome to the Clear English Corner. I'm Keenan, your personal American English pronunciation coach. In this lesson, we're talking about the dark L sound. This is the L that comes at the end of words and the end of syllables. By the end of this lesson, you'll know all about how to articulate this sound, and we'll practice the sound together in words and phrases. Here on the Clear English Corner, we're talking about all things American English pronunciation related. So if this is an area where you're looking for practice and help, be sure to subscribe and tap the bell so that you'll receive a notification anytime a new lesson is published. Okay, so the dark L sound. The way a native American English speaker articulates L at the end of words and the end of syllables is entirely different than how we articulate that sound at the beginning of words and syllables. For the light L sound, you're taking the front of your tongue and pressing it gently against the back of your top teeth and then releasing. It's a quick press and release. For the dark L sound, a native speaker isn't using the tip of their tongue at all. The motion of the tongue is all in the back of the tongue for this sound. A native speaker actually retracts the tongue, the back of the tongue or the root of the tongue towards the throat like this. All, all. The sound is actually really different from the light L where the tongue is quickly pressing and releasing against the back top teeth. So, l, 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 light L, dark L, ol, ol. The lips, cheeks, and jaw are completely relaxed for the dark L sound and the movement is happening entirely with the tongue retracting towards the back of the throat, ol. Now, if this is an unfamiliar movement for you, retracting the tongue, there's a couple things that you can play around with in order to help achieve this sound. So one thing you can try um, is to work from the gag reflex. So the gag reflex is what happens when you eat something that you really don't like the taste of or you smell something that's really offensive to your nose and you go, you gag. The motion your tongue makes when your gag reflex happens is the same as how it retracts to make the dark L sound. So in both cases, the tongue pulls back towards the throat. So you can kind of play around with the gag reflex to feel that, feel what it feels like for the tongue to retract back towards the throat. Let me clarify, I'm not saying you have to go eat a lot of nasty things or smell a lot of disgusting smells to get the gag reflex going. You can just fake it. Another thing that you can try is to think of your uvula. That's actually one of my favorite words, uvula. The uvula is that little dangly thing in the back of your throat. So you can think about trying to aim the back of your tongue towards your uvula. It gives you something to aim towards. So you're pulling the tongue back towards the little dangly thing in the back of your throat. Oh. Oh. So let's try this sound in some words. Try apple, apple, an apple. I ate an apple. Try people, people, a lot of people. Else, else, or else. Try this or else. Almost. Almost. Almost there. We're almost there. Okay, good. If you're having trouble getting the tongue retracted or pulling that tongue back towards the throat, there is an alternate placement that you can try to achieve a very similar sound to the dark L. And the placement for this is the same as the light L. You can actually press the front of your tongue against your back top teeth. Oh, oh. You can even let the tongue tip come out a bit under the top teeth like you're making a TH sound. Oh, oh. 
Either one of those can work. Now the difference between articulating this sound using this placement and the light L is that you want to be sure that you're holding the sound. Here's what I mean. You want to make sure you're not pressing and releasing. So for example, the word people. You want to hold that L sound. Hold your tongue pressed against your back top teeth. So instead of people, people, where you're pressing and releasing, hold the sound. People, people. Okay, here's another example. The word deal. Hold that L sound. You don't want it to sound like deal, deal. No, hold the L. Deal, deal. The deal. What's the deal? Good. Let's try another one. Rule, rule. Now you don't want it to sound like rule rule. We're holding that tongue in the position behind our top front teeth to get that dark L sound. Rule. The rule. What's the rule? Good. Let's try one more. Whole. Whole. Again, not whole. Whole. Whole day. The whole day. Awesome. Another thing you want to remember for the dark L sound is you want to be sure that there's not an extra vowel sound sneaking in there in front of the O. Let's go back to the word people. A lot of non-native speakers will pronounce this word people, people. And what's happening is there's a short E, E, E sound sneaking in right before the dark L. People. The way to get rid of this extra E sound is to think of smushing the sounds together. So you want to smush the sound right before the L right into the OL sound. So peep OL, peep OL. The sounds are right next to each other with nothing sneaking in between. You're going to go straight from that final P at the end of the first syllable, P, straight into the O, which is a syllable all on its own. P, O, P, O. All right, let's try another one. The word table. A lot of times will be pronounced as table, table, with that short E, E, E sound sneaking in there. I want to pull that sound out and think of smushing the b and the ol right together. Bull, bull, table, table, set the table. Okay, another example. The word final, final, not final. We want to take the n sound and go straight into the ol. Final, final. We're going straight from the N to the L and we're holding that dark L sound also. Final, that's final. This also works when there's a vowel sound that comes right before the dark L. So for example, the word fail, fail, not fail. We want to take that E eh sound out and go straight from the A to O. Ail, ail, fail, fail, can't fail, you can't fail. Another example, while, while. Again, we're going from the I sound, the I diphthong vowel to the o, aisle, aisle, while, while, while I, while I wait. Awesome practice. So there you have it. That's the scoop on the dark L sound. How to pronounce L at the end of words and the end of syllables. 
If you're ready for some more practice with this sound, I have a list of the top 100 dark L words in American English that you can grab by clicking here, or I have a link for you in the video description. All right, I hope you found the lesson helpful. If you did, please be sure to give a thumbs up and share the lesson with your friends or family that you think might find the information interesting or helpful. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.